Hi guys! So today I thought I would do a Valentine's Day look. Um, you can completely not do the really bright lip with it, but I wanted to do something with pink in it because that's the color for Valentine's Day. I decided to do um, just a sultry, romantic eye. I was really feeling that because, um, you know, Valentine's Day is usually all about romance. And I did a beautiful uh, pink ombre lip. I posted a sneak peek of this lip on Instagram and I'm absolutely loving it. It's my first real attempt at an ombre lip, so I'm really liking the way that it turned out. Uh, I used my new Tarina Tarantino palette. I haven't used this in a video yet, and it's the Magical palette. Um, it's perfect for this kind of look. Uh, you know, all the colors obviously go really well together and it just really works. This, um, you know, especially is going to bring out blue eyes as you can see, but it would look good on every eye color. So definitely give it a try. Um, the colors, you know, I'm sure you could find them in your own collections uh, if you don't have this exact palette. But if you want to learn how to do this sultry, sexy Valentine's Day eye, then keep watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye. So the first thing you're going to want to do is apply um, a primer to the eye. I'm going to be applying my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. As usual, this is my favorite eye primer. It works best for my eyes. Just from the lid to the brow. Okay, and next you're going to want to take um, a creamy white base, so any sort of white um, eyeliner is going to work for you. This one is by NYX. It's um, the Milk Jumbo Pencil and I'm going to apply that right underneath my brow and then right on the inner, inner part of my eye. And just with my ring finger I'm just going to blend that lightly. I don't want to bring it too far down so Patting it to blend it is going to work best. Alright, so going into the Tarina Tarantino palette. This one is the Magical palette. We're going to take the middle shade, which is a light duochrome um, opalescent color. And with a really small brush, the, a little small brush like this, we're going to pick that up and put that on top of the um, where we put the white liner. Okay, and you'll have something like that. Next, you want to take a dark purple eyeliner, um, and this one is by Stila. This one is the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, and it's in Tetra. This came out with their holiday pack, but any dark purple eyeliner will work. And you're just going to put that on your lower lash line. and then bring it up onto your upper lash line. And then you're going to want to also bring it upwards. You might have to slightly tug your eye for this. Next, take a uh, small detailing synthetic brush to blend that out with. This is my uh, Revolution BX120 by Royal Nine Nickel. And I'm just going to blend that purple out. All right, and then with an angled brush, this is a nice small detailed angled brush. Um, we're going to pick up the purple in the palette. 
well the really dark purple and just bring that along your lower lash line and then along your inner lash and then on the outer part of the eye And then take a fluffy blending brush, my trusty Large Smudger C445, and just work that in. And then with another small um, eyeshadow brush. This is my Flat Smudger C402 by Royal. We're going to take this Iced Taupe shade and we're going to put that right in here. This is a very metallic color. So we're just going to put that all over the lid area. And then with that angled brush again, we're just going to really deepen up that crease area. Okay, um, next just take that liner again and line your upper lash line really close to your um, lash line, your waterline and your tight line with it. Okay, you have something like that. And now apply a really thick coating of mascara, a nice volumizing one. Um, this one is by MAC, it's the Hot hot and naughty to black lash. Um, I'm absolutely loving this mascara. It goes on super thick. Okay, and then after you're done, your eyes will look like that. A nice, sultry, purple eye. So, oh, this lighting is driving me crazy. It's making me look a little orange. Do lips. Oh, there we go. And we're good. Lighting's good. Okay, so anyways, the rest of the look. I wanted a really soft pink you know, glowy cheek. So I actually used this um, blush by Annabelle. This is a Canadian company. And I just swirled it all together. I'm pretty sure this one was limited edition, but a really nice one that would go well with this look would be, um, is it Well Dressed by MAC? The baby pink one. That one would go really, really nicely with this look. And then I did um, a golden highlight. I used my NARS Albatross highlight. And this is a nice, um, golden, you know, highlight. It's really just adds a nice gold sheen to the face. And then the lips, of course. Um, the lips I did not do on camera because I've never really done an ombre lip on myself, so I'm just going to walk you through how I did it. First, I lined my lips with Pinky Lip Liner by NYX, which looks like this. And it's just a nice pink, pink um, lip liner. And then I used two lip brushes. This is key when doing an ombre 
lip, you're going to want to make sure that you're using lip brushes um, because you're going to want that control and that definition. So my favorite lip brushes, I have two of them, uh, are by Royal Lanical, of course, and they're the Lip BE08. They look like this. They're just nice, fine tipped um, lip brushes. So what I did was on the outer part of the lip, I used Spellbound by NYX. This is a one of their round lipsticks, and it's just pretty much a dupe for Pinky. See them? That's them right next to each other. These are really creamy lipsticks. And then the second color that I use, and I never use this color really because it's just way too light to use on its own, is Strawberry Milk. It's also one of their round lipsticks, and you can see I've got a little, little bit there, but it's just a nice creamy pink um, color. See, it's so light even on my skin. So, um, but together it just creates this beautiful um, ombre lip. And right in the middle to set the um, light color, I use the same color that I use in my brow. I use this one and I just dabbed it so that it would set that middle color and stop it from bleeding too much into the darker pink. Uh, yeah, so that is um, what I did for my lips. And that is the full face. So yeah, I thought this would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you. Bye, guys.